share what redemption is, uh, uh, what it is. Amen? Redemption. Deliverance by payment of a price in the New Testament. Redemption refers to salvation from sin, death, and wrath of God by Christ's sacrifice. <coughs> now, when we talk about redemption, we talk about the knowledge of, of Christ knowing what we have done. Not judging us, but knowing that we are saved by salvation. Knowing that the salvation of the Lord is in our hearts, in our minds, in our soul, in our body, and in our spirit. We know that the Lord is going to saw and salvage our life. He is going to put it, take away our old self of wrath and, and, and strife. Amen. And they're going to put a new new self of, of love, kindness, joy, patience, peace, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and goodness. Amen. And he's going to salvage our soul. Amen. And that is the salvation. To salvage our soul so that we can have a new life when we meet the kingdom of heaven. Amen. The New Testament emphasizes the Tremendous cost of redemption, the precious blood of Christ. Now we know that Christ died for our sins on the cross of Calvary. Right. We know that He died on the gospel. And that hill was just a bloody, terrible situation. And uh, it was a way to to cast people out that have, have done sins in, in their lives and stuff. And Jesus did no sins in the eyes of His captors. But they let Barabbas go so that Jesus could die for our sins. And God has been good to us. He helped us, guided us, strengthened us, and he showed us the way. And then he died for our sins on the way. The result of redemption gives us freedom from sin and freedom from to serve God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we serve Christ, we know that God is good to us every day. Yes. He salvages our soul and guides our life and blesses our days so that we can walk with Him to the eternal Father in Him. Right. And we know that we are redeemed in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. To be redeemed and recovered, property to ransom free. Amen. And rescued by pay, paying a price. To free from consequences of sin. To convert into something of value. Mm -hmm. To make good of promise. To fulfill. To make a tone or reconciliation acceptance. As we're accepted in the way of the Lord our God. And we're accepted in the new way of Christ. We know that God has died for us. That God has died for our sins. Amen. And God is Jesus. Amen. We know that the Lord is with us. He is helping us, guiding us, and strengthening us. In Isaiah 9, 5, it says that God is our wonderful counselor. Amen. Our mighty king. Our everlasting father, which makes him father. And our prince of peace. He is also the Son of Man. Right. He is our Son. He is the knowledge of our, our deeds done. And He knows that we will be saved, certified, and strengthened in the way of, of a new life in Christ Jesus, which is a way of love, kindness, joy, and peace. Amen. So these are some of the, the things we've been redeemed from. First Corinthians six twenty. We've been brought with the price. We are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's what that speaks about. If you, if you want to write these down, First uh, Corinthians six twenty. First Corinthians seven twenty three. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He bought us with His blood. He shed His blood that we may have life through Him. Amen. Also, uh, God redeems his people. Amen. God, the Father had a plan and sent his Son to redeem us. It was the Father's plan to redeem us. Amen. So he sent his Son, and he said God redeems his people. So it was the, Father, the, uh, the Father's plan 
to send his son to redeem us. Luke 1, 68. Amen. Jesus gave his life a ransom. It was divine punishment against sin on our behalf. Amen. Amen. Matthew 20, 28. Jesus redeems us from the bondage of the law. Amen. We are not under the law no more, but we are under the grace. Amen. Amen. It don't mean that we, we, we feel like we can just do anything. The, we need to try and, and keep the Ten Commandments to the best of our abilities. Amen. God, he's the same today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. But we're saved by grace, by his mercy today. Galatians uh Chapter 4, verse 5. Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law. Amen. We were all bound and cursed. Amen. We were we we couldn't prosper the way we are prospering now. Amen. Uh, Galatians 3, 13. Also uh, 1 Corinthians 16, 56 and 57. Jesus set us free from the power of sin. Amen. That's a blessing. We have been redeemed by the blood that now we, we can walk, wake up in the morning and, and practice righteousness all day long. We, we don't have to practice sin. If somebody's still practicing it, then you have to ask yourself, have you been redeemed? You know, because we have the power over sin. Amen? It's been broken. You know, we, 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 everybody in here should be... Uh, walking in the, the, the holiness of God now. Amen. Amen. We, we all should not, we shouldn't have no hang-ups and in, 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 in backsliding and up and down. We should all be on one accord and going forward and on a level pace. Amen. Amen. And uh, that's uh, uh, Romans 6, 18 through 22. Jesus set us free from the power of the grave. Amen. Psalms 49, 15. He, the Lord will raise you up with eternal life. Amen. He set us free from all troubles. Psalms 25 and 22. It don't mean that we're going to have not have trials and tribulations, but he will give us the grace to, to go through it and the power to come out of it. Amen. Right. We don't have to stay in it and, and, and ponder on it. Just keep your mind on the Lord, and He'll take you through it. You know, He said, "Count it all joy when you go through trials and temptations." Amen. Amen. So you can look, let's look at it like that. He set us free from uh, uh, from the iniquities, from all kind of just whatever's not right. You know, uh, rebelliousness and uh, uh, just bad stuff. Amen. Titus two fourteen. Amen. Also, I'm gonna read out. What some of this stuff is. The bondage is one who has lost his liberty and has no rights mm -hmm. and lives in fear. So we, we didn't have no rights. We, we weren't free. I know I wasn't free. I was free. I, I was a, a bondage to drugs, to fornication, to staying up all, all week or whatever I was doing, tweaking and tripping and, and uh, say, doing all kind of demonic stuff. I was a bondage to that. I couldn't break it. Amen, and and uh, and I had I had no rights. I didn't have no rights to say nothing. I just was a slave to, to what 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 I was told to do. The thoughts I manifested the thoughts, and that's Hallelujah, because we were we were set free from that. We're not in bondage no more. And you know, we all have a testimony where God has brought us. You know, in the in the power of darkness, there was many nights I was up tweaking at five in the morning. You know, been up all week, wondering what's, what I'm doing. Amen. You know, the curse, the empowerment to fail. You know, you know. also a prayer for injuries, harm, or misfortune to befall on someone. You know, I wasn't in prospering. You know, I, I, uh, um, I would share something. Uh, I was blessed to get some, some finances from when my dad passed away. And it, it just went like sand in my pocket, mm -hmm. you know. And now, uh, now when when my mom passed away, I, I didn't get way as much. And now the Lord has blessed that money. Amen. You know, I can see the blessing in it. You know, I still got it. But that money that my dad gave, I was I wasn't in the in the, the covenant, and it just all went out my pocket. 
and drugs and casinos and gambling and women and, and whatever, the nightlife. Now I still got my money because that's a covenant of God. He teaches us. Amen. So that was a, a bondage. I, I was a slave to it. He said, go to the casino. I'm back out there. I remember one night I went out there and lost my money. He said, go home and get some more money. I drove all the way from Thunder Valley, way back to my house, to Old Park, way back out there. I was a slave. It's not funny. It's real. This is a real trick of the enemy. He, would, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. He's, he's not playing with it. He's not playing with it. He's, 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 playing, he's playing dirty and he's playing real. Amen. And we have to be on our, on our cues tonight. Amen. The word. Trouble is to uh, agitate mentally or spiritually. I was troubled every day, every night. You know, uh, sometimes I might get all everything I want to throw it out in the street. Brand new TV. Brand new clothes, rip them up, throw them out. I was divided. Everything I had, everything I had in my house was out in the street. I was mentally disturbed. I was agitated. That demon wouldn't leave me alone. Or I might go to the park and get a gun and start shooting at cars. God, I've been there. I was out there. My sister can testify about that. I was I was I wasn't a good person. That's why I'm here now. I've been delivered and saved by the grace of God. I'm not afraid to say you where I've been. I to, 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 to be demonically possessed is it's not a good thing. You know, iniquity, it can suggest a different type of evil, such as transgression of spiritual laws and crimes against God, unrighteousness and lawlessness. Amen? Amen. Also, we've been we've been redeemed from all uh, all evil. Genesis forty eight and sixteen. Praise God for that. A force that opposes God and His works of righteousness in the world. Evil has come from the heart of men. Amen. Mark seven twenty and twenty three. Okay. Set free the present evil world. We've been set free from this present evil world. We're not we're in the world, but we're not of the world. Amen. We are in the world. We can yeah. see the satanic thing, the demonic people uh, right all around us every day. But we don't have to act like that because we have the power in us. We don't have to talk like that. We don't have to think like that. We don't have to walk like that. We are free from it. I can say that with a clear conscience. Amen. And I know all of you guys can. I believe in, in, in all everybody in here saved and sanctified. Amen. By, by the redemption of his blood. There's power in the blood. There's power in his blood. Amen. If he can do it to us, he can do it to those who's lost. Them gang members, them gang bangers, them, them drug dealers. You know, we have to continue to go out for them. Amen. We, we need to tag team on them and go out. Amen. Like Deacon Warren said, we tag team on somebody. Praise God for that. He got a double dose of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. He heard the words right. You know, amen. You know, people are going to hell. People are dying daily. They're burning out. I told a lady today, she said, where, where, where do you go after? I said, after from the body present with the Lord. That's if you're saved. If not, then you, you, you the Lord has a holding tank for everybody. You know, there's a holding tank, and they're, they're waiting there. If you're in the holding tank of hell, you, 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 you're feeling the pain already. There ain't no escape from it. No, there's no escape. No, God's a holy God. He hates sin. He said the wages of sin is death. That's right. But to give to God is eternal life through his son. He gave us a way. He has to walk on it. There's going to be no excuses on, on the day of judgment. You know... He's going to put our life up there, and, and you're going to look, and people's going to look at it that never received them, and uh, uh, they're going to know. They're going to know that they deserve what they get, you know, because they rejected the, the, the Almighty. They rejected His love because He's going to say, I called you on this day. I called you on this day. I called you this day. I called you this day. I tried to tell you to come on. I spoke to this man. I spoke to this woman. I spoke... Through this pastor, I spoke to this evangelist to you, but you never came. I called you. I warned you. 
I blessed you. I, I loved you. But you never received me. Depart from me, you nickel. I never knew you. You know. You never knew my son. You never received me. You rejected me. Come on. And he's going to depart. He has to depart. God's a holy God. He said, be holy, for I'm holy. We must live a holy life every day. We can't come in here and put on no mask. Because if we're fooling ourselves in here, we sure ain't fooling him. And I don't want to be in here playing church. Amen. I want to be strong. This is a one-time sober. Amen. Amen. And, and I'm thankful for the G7 ministry. Because everybody in here ain't, we ain't playing church. No, we can tell people worship. Amen. We got to keep on doing what we're doing. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Because I see the, the spirit manifesting through people. I see the growth in all of us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Set free from our, we are set free from our enemies. We don't have to work. Men, 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 Minister Hollywood always says that all this all the time. Man, it's a blessing to be able to go anywhere without uh, somebody. You ain't got no enemies. We ain't got to look behind our back. Right? Right. No, no, the guy got our back, got our front. But we don't have no enemies because we're not out there making them. We're not out there getting deceived and getting, getting caught up and making deals or propositions or whatever. Uh, getting caught up involved with people. You know, if I'm not around my people, then I, if I'm witnessing to them, then I back off from them and leave them alone. You know, this is my, my family. Jesus said, those who do the, uh, the will of my Father are, are, are my family. Amen. You know, again, we are set free from death. Amen. After from the body, present with the Lord. Amen. Look at uh, uh, Minister uh, Mr. Wyman. She's with the Lord. Ray and Billy, he's with the Lord. Uh, uh. Pastor Jerry's and Bob, she with the Lord. They're right there. They're watching us right now. Amen. They're rejoicing on this service. Uh, uh. There was one more for the Pastor Lord. Amen. 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 Pastor Lord. That's it. I didn't forget. I couldn't. I'm just in the spirit right now. But Pastor Lord, she's looking down. Amen. All we got four veterans up there. Amen. Amen. Okay, destruction set free from, you know, the Lord, he, 10,000 will fall on this side and 10 and on, on this side, but he's going to, he will keep us because the Lord, we have the Holy Spirit in us and he's, he's going to take care of himself and he's taking care of us because we're in him and he's in us. Amen. Amen. We, we're protected by being with him. Amen. Can't, there's nothing can't touch him. He's untouchable. And when you got him, you're untouchable. Ooh, Amen. Yeah, yeah. You're, we're untouchable. We can't be touched. And if he allows it, then he's called. Well, come on home then. Amen. We ain't lost nothing. We came. Amen. You came when you leave here. You say the same time. We can't. We, we can't lose. We can't lose. But then, you know. We win either way. We're in a winning situation. Amen. 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 Okay, when God justifies, he check he charges the sin of man to Christ and credits the righteousness of Christ. Amen. We we have right prices. Righteousness, and he sees us uh, uh, as I believe Minister Walter Lemon. She, she said, uh, uh, he sees us pure in him. Amen. The blood covers all that, and he sees Christ. He sees our lawyer, our high priest, our advocate, and, and us. And and we pass over just like he passed over on in uh, the Egypt. God's going to pass over us and go. You know, because our sin has been washed in the blood. Yeah, the blood is powerful. It's, it's pure. You know, uh, uh, I was uh, looking at the news last night. This lady had a baby. And it's so powerful that the, the blood was on the baby. But the baby and the mom got different blood. You know, the blood of Jesus is powerful. It wasn't the blood of Mary. It was totally different. Amen. God is—he's an awesome God. He can—he can do all things, whatever he wants to do. 
There's nothing you can't do but fail. Amen. Amen. You know. Amen. Sin deserves divine punishment because it's a violation of God's holy character. But He pardons His His pardons His gracious. Amen. It, you know, God is holy and He can't stand sin. He, he told Adam and Eve, the day you eat it, you should surely die. And what happened? They surely died. That's not physically, but spiritually. And that's why we need to come to Christ. But by his grace and his mercy, he brought us back together. He gave us another chance. He made a plan and, and couldn't nobody stop it. The devil tried to stop it. You know, the, and, and, and what's, what God starts, can nobody stop Amen. He's going to finish it. Whatever he, he, whatever he does, he's going to complete. We've been a, a, adoption, an act of God's grace by which sinful people are brought into his redeemed family. We've been adopted by his grace. You know, he said, come on, uh, uh, the bars, come on in. You know, I love you anyway. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to give you a pardon. Amen. I love you so much that it don't matter what you did. You know, my grace is sufficient. Amen. I have power over to forgive you. You know, and we have the same power to forgive people. We can do all things through Christ. If we get in line with the Holy Ghost, we can do all things but fail. And we have to come closer. We have to, that's why the Lord is still working with us. He wants us to draw closer. He said, draw close to me and I'll draw close to you. There's more closeness, more uh, intimacy. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. If we need to draw, 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 draw until we leave here, because He's holy and perfect, holy. and we we will always continue to be drawn to get there, because we have this, and this is fighting against that. Yes. Amen. Just don't want to go there, but we have to put foot down on it and tell it to shut up and, and start to keep continuing to draw. Draw, draw, draw in the spirit. Amen. Amen. The act of making ones clean. Okay, I'm gonna let Brother Joseph elaborate on a few things right here because uh, uh, he's part of the vision group and he's doing a great job. Our soul is paid for by the Lord, his death on the cross. And when we know that his soul, when we know that, that our soul has has been has been blessed and guided and strengthened in the way of the Lord our God, that, that Christ died for our soul on the cross of the Calvary, we know that he strengthened us and guided us and showed us that there's another way besides sin. And lustful desires of the flesh. There is a way of kindness, love, joy, peace, patience. I, I love saying that. You know, it's, it's just the fruits of the spirit. You know, and, and the fruits of the spirit is is one thing where the soul is bringing us out. You know, it's it's bringing the soul out in us to elaborate on Jesus Christ and His kindness for us, His His love for us, His His overflowing His His. You know, we're vessels. And as we become his vessels, we overflow with joy and, and kindness. And, and you know, it's just wonderful the way he, uh, he he presents himself in the Word of God. Waiting for the waiting for the glorified body when we get to heaven. When we get to heaven, we will have a, a joyful time in heaven. We will be in a party, like he said. We will be in Food galore, and we won't get fat. <laughs> we, we will be blessed. We will be blessed to know what it means to gain the wings of angels' flight. We will know what it means to have the support of the Lord on our side, so that when we come back down here, we will have His knowledge and His wisdom, so we can bless others the way we were blessed when we were in heaven. We believe that when we come back down. Because he said that we live on earth, but we are from the kingdom of our Father in heaven. So as we bless that kingdom, 
we strengthen in the way of the Lord our God. And we eat at the table of the saints. We know that we are blessed to know that God is with us each and every day. Amen. Uh, we're going to cut it off here because we want to be uh, obedient to our time. But we want to thank you. We thank the Lord for giving us the opportunity to share the word. I thank you for uh, Brother Joseph, my new disciple. Lord, thank you for the Lord, thank you, Lord.